They're in the gate. And there are. A mile and a half is a trip to the Unibet supporting safer gambling Phillies Novice Stakes. And through the very early stages, it will be Wadua up against the inside rail, being taken on by Mike Chiquita, a little wider, Polar Princess is in third. Break for a length and a half, back to pop the champagne, the races on the inside of Madara, and the back marker by a couple of lengths, it's star for a day, and they have a circle to go. And it's Mike Chiquita who takes them into their first turn. The lead now is half a length over Polar Princess, who races in second. A length and a half away now, Wadua, up against the inside rail, is in third. Madara, the favourite, in fourth position. Outpaced in fifth is Pop the Champagne, who was ridden around that turn by George Rook. And the back market continues to be star for a day. Inside the final mile, they straighten up down the back stretch. Mike Chiquita by a control three parts of a length. Polar Princess in second, a length and a half away, Wadua up against the inside rail in third. Just a net back to Modara on the outside in fourth, then about a length and a half to pop the champagne, which rather running snatches and a half length to the outside is start of the day. They're going through the halfway point, six furlongs to go. And Mike Chiquita runs the rail and has a lead of an neck. To the outside, Polar Princess creeps a little closer now in second. Still a length and a half break to Wadua on the inside of Madara. And the last duo pop the champagne and start for a day. They go into the far turn, just over four and a half furlongs to go at this point. Mike Chiquita, Christian Howard still lead, but only just to Robert Havlin and Polar Princess around the outside. With a half mile to go, Jack Mitchell now sends Madara into third around the outside of Wadua. A breakdown of nearly three lengths back to pop the champagne and tailing off is star for a day. Less than three furlongs to go, Polar Princess has got the lead. However, that move is covered by Madara, who gets to within half a length and travels well towards the outside. They race down now towards the final quarter of a mile and Madara is shaken up by Jack Mitchell to go and seal the deal and she may have done it in the blinking of an eye. She's gone clear in a matter of strides by five widening lengths inside the final furlong. It's now a matter of by how far. Madara is going well clear on the run to the line and it will be a second career win for Madara. In second place, Wadua getting up for third, pop the champagne. Jack, well done. What were the feelings coming into today, given she'd only run the twice and, I mean, you can tell from your saddle, you're, you're almost struggling to hold it up. I thought, I'm actually a bit speechless, to be fair, because she's always been a, a nice filly at home and, and the guys, you know, Alan, Alan Rutter rides her every day and he was so complimentary coming up to this run. Uh, you know, she, she's there in her coat, she felt good, she's been moving really well and... Yeah, I didn't really do much to be fair. I just got a bit of cover early, got a nice lead, got her into a nice rhythm, and you know, from the three to the two, it was just a case of push the button. Um, I, I let her off a bit more just because I wanted to know if she had a race, because I'd have done that very easy and it's a bit more like a bit of work at home. But I think she'll be very special. You're no stranger to sitting on a, a good horse and having won some big races yourself. But where does she feel like she is at this present time? She, she feels very good. That's, I mean. I think the hardest part for me was pulling up. I ended up right down the back straight. You know, at Chelmsford when she won, I did, I did another lap. So, you know, hopefully there's still more there. Uh, she was getting a little bit lonely out in front, which is, you know, to be expected on your third run. So, you know, there's more plenty, plenty more to come, I hope. Today gave you a, a good marker for exactly where she was in her career as well. She had to give a ton of weight away to three-year-old fillies, not only weight for age, but a winner's penalty. Some good horses have taken this race in the last two years. They've gone on to listed honours. Does she feel pattern class? Oh, 100%, yeah. You won't see her in handicaps. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that probably upgrades the performance with the, the 10 stone, uh, 10 stone 9 on the back. Well done. Thanks. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.